Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I thought we'd come back and have another bit of a play um, with some of our collage scrapbook um, masterboard pieces. And I've got a little sort of idea that I thought that might make quite a cute, um, you know, or, you know, really quite pretty sort of embellishment piece. So I'm going to um, try and make like little faux envelope flaps on our little collage pieces, if that makes sense. So I think what we'll do, we'll do one on each of these little um, pieces so that they're not sort of all the same. So let's do one from this one and then we'll do one from here. Now I just want to decide which which section I'd like. So I think I'm going to do this section here like that. Okie dokie. And I'm going to have them this way up when I put them in my journal. So that's kind of our starting point basically. And then all I'm going to do, I'm going to make them so they look like almost little postcards or um, I don't know, em envelopes or postcards or, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm going to just rough the edges up, I think, a little bit on them so that they look really nice and, you know, grunged up and a bit more, a bit more texture going on on them. I mean, obviously they are kind of collage, so they've got plenty of texture anyway, but I think you can never have enough. So I'll just rough the edges slightly. Not too much, but just a little bit. And then I'm just going to ink around them with my Distress Ink. Like that. Okay. And for some reason I've straight away turned that that way up and I want to have it this way up. So, uh, yep, I'll turn it round. And then we'll just ink this one up as well. Okay. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you're uh, doing some crafting, having a nice time. The sun is shining again here. We are just being so lucky with the weather this year. I literally can't believe it. So yeah, glorious, glorious sunshine. Right, so that's our two pieces. And what I thought we would do is I've just got some coffee dyed paper here beside me. I've actually also got um, you know, some of my food coloured paper. The only thing is that is quite thin, so it may be that that would be too thin, but I'm thinking actually that might be quite nice on this piece. So I wonder if it's wide enough there. Right, so what I'm going to do is just chop, oops, just chop this one down. I mean, as I say, it may be this one's too flimsy, this paper, I might need thicker paper, but let's give it a try and see. And all I'm going to do is fold, oops, fold it over, kind of here-ish, like that. And then what I'm going to do is just take it down to the approximate width of the piece, like that. And then all I'm going to do is sort of fold it, you know, not fold it, I'm not pressing, but you know, just a bit in half. And then I'm going to make this like, an envelope like that so it's like a sort of envelope flap and we can just attach that then over our piece like that and so it will be like a little sort of envelope flap on top of your little pieces I mean I just thought they were something a little bit fun and different so I'm just going to take it down slightly more in the width so if I just Again, hold them more or less together and I'm just going to take them down there. It's probably going to be too short now, but again, that doesn't really matter. I think it will still look fine. I think it would be better too short than not, not um, long enough, if that makes sense. So like that. And then all I'm going to do is glue that onto my piece. Like that. Okay, I'm going to just glue that down there. Oops. Shift that just slightly over to the side. 
Okay, press that down, make sure that's nicely glued on at the back. Like that. Okay, and then can obviously just ink around this. So I'll just grab my book page in to put underneath that so it's not just, again, just inking my, you know, over inking my base piece. And just ink around there like that. Okay, so it looks really, really pretty. And then I'm going to put something on the end of here. So what should we have on there? That might be too small. It might be okay, actually. So let's just give this one a try. Oops. I always struggle when cutting ovals and circles. They're kind of like my, my big problem area when it comes to cutting. Not too, too bad. Oops. We'll just ink that up, which will just help disguise any rough pieces or rough bits where I didn't quite manage it. So that can just go on there sort of at the end, which looks quite pretty, doesn't it? So let's just pop that down. Like that. I mean, actually, maybe this flap is a little bit too long. And to be honest, I probably have cut it too much, you know, too in. In truth, I probably would be happier with it the full length. I mean, I can always make this smaller, I guess, and maybe that would make it look better. So let's just do that. Okay, just bring it in slightly more. Yeah, I think that is better, to be honest. I thought perhaps the flap wouldn't really matter too much if it was a little bit smaller, but actually I think it is better, isn't it, in line. And again, just rough my edges up again, re-rough re them, because obviously I've now cut them flat again. So we just go around those edges like that. And then on the inside now, so here, I'm just going to grab my postage stamps. Now, which colours do I want? I I've separated out a whole bunch. Um, ever since I did them in my 3 and 30 challenge videos, I decided that was actually really a handy thing to do because it's really nice to be able to just grab them and they're literally then ready to use. So I've got those. Now I'm thinking a label would be nice. So let me just pull in my little box here. Not that colour. Okay, just go through and see see what colour label would look good on there. It's not just the colour, I guess. I mean, obviously, this size has got to be the you know the right size as well. So this is where I discover that I don't have any quite the right size today, or in in here anyway. I've got some more behind me. Um, but it's just that this is obviously much more convenient because it's just right beside me. So I thought this would be my first, my first port of call. Could have that. Oh my gosh, look at how tiny that is. That's just ridiculous. Okay, so probably not, not bad. I'm just wondering actually whether to do a stamped um, postcard. So just bear with me while I grab my postcard stamp. Oh, if I can find that now. Right, let me just go off and grab my labels. Right, so I've dug out some labels. This one I thought would look really pretty on here. So it's just an ivory one. It, I think it's from my uh, blue vintage kit if I recall and then what I've got here this is one of my little stamps <laughs> obviously you can see it's seen better days um, it's one of my crafty individuals ones I don't think probably I can even get it to stick onto a um, you know clear no I mean it's kind of literally past its best you know with regards to sticking or wanting to stick on things now but it still stamps perfectly fine so what I thought was I would just stamp 
postcard, you know, the postcard writing or header onto that label. So just carefully, I'm just going to stick it onto here first or stamp it onto here first to make sure I've got it up the right way because I can't really see. Oh, lucky I did because look, that would have been upside down. So <laughs> I'm just going to then pop that on here. I might just put it in the middle. I don't think I've got that very straight, but never mind. There we go. So how pretty does that look? It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And I'm just going to pop that there. I could even pop that as a pocket by just obviously gluing it on the three sides. Like that. Oops. That's it. And we'll just pop that down like that there. So that's really nice, isn't it? And then just, just mop that up a little bit. And then my postage stamp, so this is, a, you know, an actual vintage postage stamp. It's a really gorgeous one, actually, I have to say. I've never seen this stamp before. I know I'm always talking about this lately, but honestly, I seem to be turning into a stamp collector. But it's just some really nice ones. When you start looking, you know, some are really, really nice. And I, I find myself wanting to hoard them which, my gosh, as if I don't hoard enough stuff, I can't now start hoarding stamps as well. That's just ridiculous. So I'm just going to pop that on there and I've just tucked it underneath that label, actually. So I'm just going to ink up the underside of that envelope flap now as well. So like that. And then what I'll do is just stamp my postmark across the stamp like that. And that's it. And then, you know, up to you, obviously, you could add some other little bits and pieces on there. You could put, you know, some, I don't know, stamps or lace or, you know, anything that you like. In fact, talking of, talking of lace, let's just grab some in. So oh, sorry, just reaching behind me to get some. So perhaps we'll just put some lace down on there. Let me just find what, what lace would look best on here. What do you think? one. It feels like that looks a little bit clumsy on there, sort of quite thick. Let me just see. I've got this one which I love using lately. So I could just, right, let's just cut this down and see. I, you know, it doesn't matter because I would use this on other things. If I've cut it down and it's not, not right, I don't mind because I can easily use this on other stuff. So... Right, let's just chop that across, you know, quite smallish. So I'm not cutting it in half or anything. It's way less, way less than half. There we go. Okay, I love that. So I'm just going to then pop that down across there. And actually, I'll just... Oh, come on, glue. Oh, again, I'm struggling to see, to see if this glue is actually coming out or not. Hopefully it is. I could just pop a little bit onto the paper itself. Okay, and then just put that down there like that. Again, you know, don't worry if it's kind of not straight or anything. In fact, this end I've kind of pulled down so it's not straight because, I, you know, I think that just makes it more interesting looking. Isn't that just gorgeous? And, you know, up to you then, you could obviously put a paper clip on to hold the flap down or, you know, one of those little closures, you know, have you like, but I think it just looks lovely even flapping up. So that's that one. Let's do one now with, with the blue. So as we've just got, you know, a couple of different pieces, because it's always nice to do a couple when you're doing examples. So I'm just going to swap my, swap my stamps for my blue ones. I'm loving having my stamps kind of colour separated, they're really handy like that. And then this one I'm going to just use coffee dyed, you know, paper in plain coffee dye rather than any form of colour to it. So let's just see if I've got a scrap to use, otherwise, you know, it's not a problem, I can cut into a fresh sheet. It's just if I've got a scrap then of course, I might as well use it because, um, you know, that just would be more sensible, wouldn't it? I haven't, but I have got this, which I just wondered whether we... No, but no, no, no. 
Do you sometimes just pull things in and then, you know, as soon as you kind of put them there, you just think, what was I thinking? That was what happened there. So this time I might try and be a little bit more precise and cut around it like that. So it's a little bit, you know, better lined up. So, and then I just want to just obviously, you know, cut here where we're going to have a flat, uh, not a flat, but you know, the piece that's going to fold over to glue down. So we just then bend that over there like that. Okay, now this flap, as you can see, this is much smaller. So just going to take it in there and then just cut that down, you know, just like an envelope sort of shape, envelope flap shape anyway. And then let's see how that looks. Okay, so that looks super pretty, doesn't it? So I'm just going to, again, just ink this up a little bit. Okay, and then we'll just glue this down. Like that. Okie dokie. I just think they're really fun actually and um you know I just yeah you know I mean as you know I always just love and I think simple these are super simple they're kind of quite fun to make quite um yeah quite addictive to make actually and I just thought these are going to just really look very cute in a journal so yeah I hope that you like them so I mean we could have something like this again on the end of that envelope flap you could obviously add a charm or you know something dangling from it so let's have a look and see see what this looks like oops okay Just take that off so yeah i mean we could add that as a little piece on there which I quite like, but I'm not going to just commit to that just yet. I've got this in terms of labels. I don't know whether this is going to look good on here or not, but let's give it a try. Let me just chop that down. Okay. Cut down there. Down at the side and the corner there. This may be too wide. Well, it is quite wide, but weirdly, I quite like it actually. So, yeah, I, I quite like that. So, I'm just going to ink this up a little bit. And these are my numbers from my number set three. So, if you were, you know, looking for them or anything, then that's what they're from, is the number set three. So again, what we can do is glue that one on like a pocket. So like that. Okay. Have that sort of lowish like that. Just mop that bit of glue up. Okay. Right, so that's that one. And then just see what else we might want on here. I've got these ones, which, you know, may be quite nice on the flap. So just going to cut those down. Like that. I mean, you could always make these into little journaling cards as well. You know, if you backed these onto some just plain coffee dyed paper there'd be a little journaling card but you know just have a play around and see what you think is nice to do with them I mean to be honest I think just anything you know anything would look really super cute on these I'm, right I'm deciding now how I want this to be so I'm just going to hold it down with the scissors let's just grab in another pair of scissors now so obviously I've got the rest of that lace from the last one which we could have that along the top, or we could have just a smaller piece, just sort of along the bottom. Oh, I think these are those blunt, blunt scissors. 
they seem to blunt for fabric, you know, before they blunt for paper. So we could have that there. Again, let's just ink that up a bit. Okay, so we could just have that there. That's quite nice. I don't know what that red is. Oh, there we go. Wasn't sure whether it was actually attached to it, which obviously that would have been a bit of a problem. I'm just going to hot glue this on because I just want to have that stuck down pretty quickly. There we go. Like that. And then I just pop a bit under there. There we go. Okay, and then ink this one. That's quite nice, but let me just check what I'm going to have in the way of stamps. So, have a look. Ooh, what's that one? No, I can't really see what that's a picture of, to be honest, but that's quite nice. I don't know whether it's quite the right colour blue. You know what I had in mind so let's just have another oh what's this one again I cannot see that image what's on there at all but oh perhaps that one's better yeah let's just see whether we want two two little stamps there that's quite nice isn't it let's have two so I just pop that first one down like that. Oops. Oh my gosh, look what I've done. What a wally. That was like layered up and I didn't realise. So let me move that to the side. Just pop a bit of glue on here. That had made its way into the blue gloss, the blue sorted gloss. So um, yeah, it obviously just got itself quite attached to that sticker, uh, that stamp. Right. Let's get it the right way up. Not that, like I say, not that I can see what that's an image of or anything else. But, And then what we'll do, I think I'm just going to have that little postcard stamp. May even have it up here, actually. So let's just bring the stays on back in. I'd move the stays on out of the way because I do obviously have a tendency to just put it, you know, put my distress blending tool in there. So I thought it was best to just move it completely out of the way. So it was no longer at risk. Just pop that there. Little postage stamp bit. Now, do we want it like this? Or do we want to have something kind of dangling? I mean, I think either way is quite nice, to be honest. Maybe I'll have that down there, so. Okay. Yeah, I might have to make a few of these, to be honest. They're sort of um, quite fun to make. And, of course, they're quick and easy to make. So I've now got some sort of ink all over that, which is a bit of a shame. Never mind. Never mind. Right. So what I might do here is instead of this, I'm going to punch a hole like that. And then we'll just pop one of our whole reinforcers onto there and I mean the whole reinforcers for no other reason other than decorative purposes obviously it's not actually really reinforcing the whole particularly like that and then got some flowers here you can just have a little flower or something dangling off that so just ink that up I'll uh, just ink it on both sides because if that's going to be dangling it may you know, float around and move about and then I'll just get literally a bulb pin just hang that off there actually probably want to to go through that hole first and then through that flower Come on. Oh, fiddly, fiddly. Right. <laughs> there we go. So, oh, 
There we go. That's our little flower hanging from there. Aren't they just so cute? And obviously, you've then got... If I just move this stuff out of the way, so that I can actually show you without such a cluttered area. So then what you've got is obviously your pocket piece. So if I just pull in something that would slightly resemble a page, I pull in this, you'd stick it onto your page, you know, maybe on like three sides, like that. And then you'd just have a little sort of hidey flip down there. So you'd have basically your pocket here and then open it up and you've got your pocket in there as well. I just absolutely love them. I think they're really, really, really fun. And this is this one, obviously. So again, exactly the same. Just pop it down. Got your pocket here and then your hidden pocket under there. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and share them. I thought they were a super fun thing to, um, you know, to make and they look really, really fun in your journals. So I hope that you like them and um, yeah, have fun if you're going to make some. As I say, I think you could do all sorts of things with these, um, but just really fun and quick and easy to make really. So I hope that you like them and have fun if you make some. Thanks very much then. Bye.